Hey YouTube, welcome to Bank of America Stock Trades. And how am I, Zach, going to trade Bank of America going into earnings? As you can see, they had a not great day, not bad day, particularly in comparison to JP Morgan, who announced earnings today. JP Morgan Chase, they opened pretty strongly, up 3%. This is coming after they announced earnings. And then you saw a pretty huge fall. Most of this is in association with the decreased revenues, the lower outlook to close the year. But in addition to all of this, they also posted a $6.9 billion increase to their allowance for credit losses in association with COVID. So what does that mean for Bank of America? Full disclosure, I am a longtime bull on Bank of America. I have traded them a number of times for a very long time, probably the past three years. And I do think that long term, they are going to be a great stock to hold. I don't see their dividend going anywhere and they have a lot of capital on the books. However, I do think that they are going to post a bigger allowance for credit loss as well as decreased net interest margin. I do think they're gonna show an increase in their trading revenues just because the market has been very volatile so that will be good news, but they're not going to show a profit. And so I anticipate they are going to decrease as well. Going into earnings, what do we see? Well, if we look at the charts, just going in through, let's look at today, we saw a big decrease here and throughout the day, some big sell-offs and then a little bit of recovery here. Here, didn't quite test that low point, but I anticipate that we're going to test that low point today. So what does this mean? How should I trade into them? My expectation is I would like to see them drop below $22, and I anticipate that that may happen by the end of this week. If that is the case, I plan on buying into Bank of America when they hit that under $22 mark. If they don't, that may not happen, I understand. But as you can see, it wasn't that long ago that they were closing in on $22. All we have to do is go back to the beginning of April, and it wasn't until recently that they climbed out of that. I do think that we have a lot more good news coming from an economic perspective, from the country maybe opening up, but we're going to have a long week of bank earnings that I don't think are going to be very good. So if that's the case, I would hold and not trade tomorrow, wait for it to drop below $22. I don't think we're going to retest the lows here or even over here. If that's the case though, I would continue to buy into the stock at that point in time. What I intend to do after buying in, I'd like to get right at 100 shares so that I can trade options, just because it is normally not such a volatile stock. But what I'd like to do is sell calls, which you can do once you have 100 stocks to hold. And then I would say that I would put some money up here. So this is just the end of the week. But if I said, hey, I'm gonna hold it till the end of May, I do not anticipate that we're going to get to 26.50 by the end of May, then what I made, then I would gain $68 just by selling that 100 stocks. And I could bring that back a little bit, May 1st, say, hey, we're not gonna get that 26, $45, and then when we hit May 1st, sell another option. So that is what I intend to do, just because again, I do not think that we're gonna see a strong earnings call I could be wrong, but at this point in time, I would say do not trade Bank of America unless it tests that $22 metric. So let me know if this helps. If you'd like to see more of this, let me know. And if this was helpful to you, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks.